A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Gloomy Horse, An Enthusiast, Willie Davenport, and Vlad Tepish 3176 You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Ross are here. Today, we're playing something akin to a roguelike. I will bring it up on screen any minute now. I knew I should have focused more on actually getting this stuff ready, but I did not. So, it's going to take, okay, I think that's got it figured out. <clears throat> yeah. All the good times. All the good times. Message of testing. Okay, so apparently I have put my chat in the wrong place. And I will fix that right now. Thank you for helping me figure that out. I appreciate that. Take that out. Put that in. Okay. That's a, probably going to be a little bit better. Thank you, DZ. Alright. So, this game is called The Flame and the Flood. It is a game where you pimp yourself right on down the river trying not to starve to death and die of exposure. Pretty great, all things considered. Yes, messages definitely, in fact, fit in yonder box. Okay, so, first thing we need to figure out is since DZ, you're the only one here, would you prefer a mutt called Aesop or a Dalmatian named Daisy? I will leave that up to you. Which doggo would you prefer? Alright, we'll go with Daisy then. In that case... We'll just get started. It is a hopeless future filled with a lot of undrinkable water and misery, as we will soon find out. Daisy's just the best doggo. So, we wake up here and we'll grab ourselves some charcoal from the fire, first of all. Now, what you have to understand about a fire is you gotta use the hell out of them all the time. Yeah, it's going to get even scarier, I assure you. So, we're going to grab ourselves some feathers. And some cattails. Now, cattails are one of the most useful things you can find in this game. Cattails are awesome. You can also scare crows off and then take their feathers. I'd read all of this info, but I've already read it before. I've played this game a few times, and I will spare you guys the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the, um, 
you know, where you learn things about the game. I'm, my mind is coming up a blank. And to answer your question, no, I cannot stick the feathers in my butt and do the chicken dance. Though if I thought there was a ghost of a chance that I could somehow make money by doing that, I would do it. I assure you. So this raft is really janky. And it can barely maneuver. If we move on in the game, with any luck, we can improve our raft over time. What we got now is... We can fuck up spectacularly right off the bat. Great, that's, that's a Cracker Jack start to this. Glad we, glad we managed that right off the... Well, fuck me right. You know... Yes, the most excellent of crashings. We have achieved several crashes. Okay, so if you'll look over there, you'll notice that... You can see what's coming up in the future. One of the things we can get is a marina where we can upgrade our raft. Except we can't upgrade our raft because we have gotten exactly no supplies with which to do so. But, in the future, we will be able to upgrade our raft. Another thing we might want to do while we're sitting here is to make some cords or some tinder out of our cattails. Probably mostly just cords. And let's just eat some of these here mulberries. Shit! I forgot to pick up the jar. There was a jar in the starting area and I forgot to pick it up. Well, I'm fucked. I'm so totally, incredibly fucked. I mean, normally at this point you would just say, you know what, fuck it, I'll give up and start over. But when in my life have I ever been the kind of person to stop a roguelike and give up even though I fucked up my initial starting area? The answer is never. forgot. Um, if I had picked the other dog, I would have a bunch of free items for my last playthrough. But, since we're using Daisy, no such luck. Uh, the jar stores water. Or gasoline. Or tea. Dandelion tea is a good one. One occasionally needs some dandelion tea. God damn it, Dead Zergling. We're not paying you to be that funny. You're gonna have to watch your ass, man. 
You're not getting paid to make relevant jokes like that. <laughs> but seriously, that was a good one. So you'll notice a lot of uh, statistics at the bottom of the screen. Food, water, temperature, and fatigue. I'd fill the jar if I had a jar, but I forgot to get the stupid jar, like an idiot. I was so excited to move on that I did not pick up my free jar that you always start out with on a new game. A sneaking suspicion that uh, this run will not be very long. But you never know. I've done more with less before. Let's explore this farm and see if we can get ourselves some food. What I really need are saplings. Saplings would help immensely. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 run. We gotta get the hell out of here. These boars, they'll wreck your life like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Luckily, they won't chase you onto the dogs. Hey, gloomy horse. I, I've been okay. Not great, but decent. Alright. We probably aren't going to be able to get past that boar right now. But we can make an insulated jacket using some cattails. It's a stopgap solution at best. So. Yeah, I'm I'm selling nude photos because I'm completely out of money. All right. You see those rabbits there? You could use some rabbits. It's a wonder this ain't crumbled to dust. There, but for the love of God, go I. Let's raid this house. Loot. And we got some old lover. Um, I'll just save that on the off chance that I find a jar. And the ill-equipped status means that it's gotten really cold and I don't have enough clothes to keep myself warm. So when that happens, you might want to just go ahead and sleep. Three hours should be enough. All right. That didn't hurt me too much. I am losing a lot of hunger stat. So I'm going to need some to eat some food at some point here. Question is, do I have much food? Oh, I should equip my shirt. Got to do that. Okay. We can also make insulated pants. No, you cannot eat your dog. Nor would you want to. Because the dog is actually very nice. It's a good doggo. 
All right. Um, I could eat some of these cattails. Well, I'm not starving yet, so I'll save them. What I will do is move this to the raft. <laughs> Being serious has never been one of my uh, strong points, so... Oh shit. Here comes the rain. I could have really used that campsite that was back there. But you can only go forward, and I just took some damage. Great. It's decent. Okay. So, our new goal is a yucca harvest. So, we just have to harvest some yucca. Which, we can probably do that without too much trouble. Oh shit, it's a wolf. to piss off out of here because I am not equipped to defeat a wolf right now. Alas. Our hunger meter is going pretty wild. Let's just eat these here mulberries. We'll consume the whole stack. And all of this corn. And no, I'll just eat one corn. Because if I have two corns, I can make a corn cake, which will be better for hunger in the long run. Trust me. All right. We'll just go over here to this church. Those rabbits are gonna taste so good if I can get enough to make a snare. Yes, the jar that I forgot to bring with me. You would rub that in, you nutsack. Don't need to sleep. Well, I might need to sleep. There's a sapling. Okay. Make some braided cords. I could really use a snare. What am I missing? A stone knife. Duh. What am I missing to make a stone knife? one might wonder. 
flint. I need flint. I know where I can find some flint. At a camp. Well, yeah, obviously I need an accordion. This is the first time I've actually listened to the soundtrack. When I was playing this before, I was, you know, just kind of playing it while listening to YouTube videos in the background. But yeah, this soundtrack is kind of the tits. I can dig it. Alright. Let's hop out here. Oh, it's clearly Florida. Florida, Florida, whatever you want to call it. mulberries are going to help because they cure both hunger and thirst. So I'm going to eat the shit out of those. I'll eat the whole damn stack. Huzzah. Oh shit. I almost walked into a bunch of ant hills. You do not want to walk into ant hills. You will be miserable if you do. I'll take them their rags. I can use those to make bandages and or splints later. Ooh. And we got some poisonous sumac. And a quilt. Big John Boar kept his own castle, had his own opinions about things. The more facts presented proved contrary, the more he'd dig in deeper. That's what they want you to think, Eat Fuss. Never rightly could say who they were supposed to be, but stayed put just the same. Oh man, I wish I could have a dog hunt the rabbits. Unfortunately, I need to make a flint knife so that I can make a snare. And again, this is something that I would have if I'd paid attention during the starting area. But I was stupid and ran out before I got all of my free items. So, again, I'm probably going to die on this run. But we've learned a valuable lesson. Let's see. A raft place won't help. Ooh, a camp might though, because a camp usually has flint. And if I can get some flint... Yes, it is a roguelike. Alright. Fuck you, bird. Piss off. I'm gonna take your feathers. Yes, yucca plants. Now I can make cooked yucca. Is 
See, this is what I was looking for. First of all, we'll get some charcoal, which we need. Now, let's sit down and cook some items. First of all, we'll make some ash cakes out of this corn. Ash cakes don't spoil, corn does. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, let's quickly eat a few things. Let's eat these mulberries. Let's eat some ash cakes. I could have sworn that I made two ash cakes. Eh, maybe I only had two corn in the first place. Well, whatever. And some cooked yucca. Let's eat that. And then we can safely sleep without having to worry about dying of starvation. In theory. Lots of stuff works in theory. Oh, Daisy has the other ash cake. We can sleep near a fire. Well, actually, we can sleep in the house, too. Let's loot the house first. I'll be taking that. Yoink. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh yeah. Ooh, a moldy lump and some flint. Okay. Flint. We definitely need to work with the flint. We need a knife. A stone knife. I'm guessing I need two flints, yeah. Piss off, crew. That's what I thought. Go on, shoot, shoot. Yep, there's the flint I needed. We're making ourselves a stone knife. Hell yeah. See, now we can make snares and spear traps, etc. Which as soon as I find some more rabbits, yeah. We're gonna have ourselves some Hassan Pfeffer, my friend. There's some now. I'll just grab these here saplings and use them to make a snare. Maybe two snares. Deploy the snare. Right over this rabbit hole. This one too. We play the waiting game. Yep. I heard a rabbit go snap. Ooh, and I found a jar. And I heard another rabbit go snap. We're doing just fan fucking tastic here. I love it. I'll be taking that. We got some rabbit meat and some rabbit hides. Indeed, barbecue time. So, the meat will spoil unless we cook it, 
in which case it will also spoil, but it will spoil more slowly. So first thing we need to do is make some dry tinder. Also, the best thing we can do right now is to make a pouch, which gives us extra inventory space. You need two rabbit hides to do that and one stitching kit, so right off the bat, just blam. Extra inventory space is the best. That's just absolutely great. All right, we're going to make ourselves some cooked meat. Yeah, cooked meat. Now we're cooking with meat, I guess, in theory. Do it this way. I do still need to make a stone hammer. That's going to help. Fortunately, we can stash some shit on our raft. Stuff like this. Move it to the raft. Dandelions. Um, actually, just eat those. They're delicious. You love them. Sumac, move that to the raft. Uh, cattails. Saplings. Charcoal. Move the charcoal to the raft. Nuts and bolts. Definitely move that to the raft. And move the jar to our very own inventory. Because we can use this jar. Use the jar. Now we have some shitty polluted water. However, we also have a water filter so we can make... Oh wait. We don't have a water filter. But we'll make a water filter, first of all. Now we've made a water filter. Good for us. Now we can make some clean water. Hooray. Everything's just coming up rosser, I guess. Let's drink this. Consume it. Consume it. Now, let's use it. And then filter it. So that in the future, we'll just have some extra water. There. Ah, oh, fuck, it just started to rain. You know, I could have just held the jar up and... Frickin' gotten free water. Hey, Wake and Play. How's it going? The sun's shining down on me. Okay, good. We outran the storm, so that's nice. Fuck a doodle do. Yes, um, we can play. I too thought that I was going to go to sleep tonight, but things didn't work out and. Apparently, I'm just going to be awake for, like, a million years at this point.
More saplings. Saplings are very important. All right. Ooh, another moldy lump. I can use that to make penicillin. And you would think that it would take like a whole bunch of bioengineering and a whole bunch of college training to make penicillin, but no, you can just make penicillin with two moldy lumps and a campfire. I know this. I have seen it. Your meds and mine, Wake and Play. Cheers. I feel you, man. All right. Let's open this door. Loot it. Old lumber. Oh, shit. There are wolves. Let's just uh, sleep for a bit. We'll scare the wolves off as best we can. That very nearly killed me. Let's eat some cooked meat. Uh, yes, PC. It's probably on some other stuff. I would not be surprised if it was on, like, the Switch or the PS4. Unfortunately, I do not have either of those consoles, so I'm kind of stuck with PC games. And now we float down the river. This reminds me of the time back in 2000 and... No, it, it had to have been 1990... You know what? I should probably stop talking shit and try to focus on not getting my raft destroyed. That might help. That might be awesome. Oh god. This is a disaster. Yes, yes please. This is exactly the random drop I needed. A marina. I can make repairs here. First of all, let's see if I can craft a... Um, nope, can't craft a major patch, but still. Yeah. How's up? Let's see, anything else I can... Yeah, might as well make some cords. I'm definitely going to need a spear trap or a snare at some point. I mean, we've already seen how I deal with rabbits. But there are boars and wolves in the future. Inventory management is also a thing in this game. You gotta manage your inventory. Now, if you die, whatever your doggo has 
on their collar, you get to take over to the next game. So that's kind of something that you should, you know, keep in mind. Once more in actually just drink some water first. I almost didn't realize that dehydration was an issue, but you always need to stay hydrated. It's very important. on the raft. The first thing I really want to get is a rudder for this raft. Second thing, storage. Rudder and storage in that order. I'm gonna dock here and see if I can find some free stuff. This early in the game, I can't afford to dodge any areas. I just have to be really careful that I don't get killed by a buttload of tremendously evil enemies. We got rabbits. Alcohol and a knit hat. I'll be equipping that. Hello. Cocteau. Ah, a person. The alive kind. Ain't just been my mind for a change. One might think that'd be more reassuring. Um, hello? Yes, hello. Apologies. Sometimes I forget the order of conversation. I help you with something? Um, help to trade anything? Pardon my rudeness. Be willing to give you this. No need for nothing in return. Found it left behind. Reckon so. Good, good. Don't respect the past. You ain't earned the right to the future. Better take my leave. Keep your head up, you hear? Will do. I like this guy. He seems like he's got his head screwed up. Okay, now, it's raining. That means that you can use your jar and get fresh water without having to worry about it being poisoned or anything. That's important. Also, might as well sleep now. And we can eat some steak. How did I forget to equip that? Yes, finally got a jar. Yes. Um. Oh wait, a wolf hide jacket. That's even better than my regular jacket. We'll equip the wolf hide jacket. And we'll use the insulated jacket for rags. That'll keep us warmer. Da 
the end of ye old day. Daisy, I'm gonna have to take that steak and consume it. Huzzah. We're making good progress here. Oh shit. I swan to Pete. I didn't think I was gonna have to deal with that wolf, but here we are. Don't get me started on how delicious is beef broth, because it's very delicious. I love it. Now, we're gonna go over here to this fishing hut. And it's probably going to have quite a few free things. And I'll take as much as I can and give nothing back. head back to the boat and we'll see if we can make a couple of sewing kits or stitching kits excuse me hell yeah we can also make a spear trap but I'll save that until we actually need it We look this way. Don't think I'll be able to make the campsite. Nope. just die of having my raft being destroyed. That's a possibility here. Hopefully it won't happen, but you know, it could happen. Hey, eh, yeah, ah. Fine. Oh, great, I missed both of those. Batting a thousand here. was some wacky navigation right there. I tell you what. Oof. Very scary. grab ourselves some water eat a whole buttload of mulberries and put some of these devil's butt ones into the raft etc etc etc
Yeah, okay, I think we're good. New goal, meet chef. I'm intrigued. Go on. Cook tin meat. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I'll get tin meat in the course of my entire life. Let's be very careful. Thanks, Wake and Play. I appreciate you coming by. You're the man, man. Hey, and if anyone hasn't uh, looked at Wake and Play's YouTube, or not YouTube, uh, Twitch channel, I highly recommend it. It is fun stuff. Oh shit, there's a fucking boar. Ah, uh, these fucking boars. We're gonna need a spear trap. Luckily, it won't come close to the fire. It will, however, just ruin my life forever and ever if I don't kill it right now. We gotta trick it. Haha! -ha! The day is mine! We got some raw meat and we got some boar hides. Yeah! I didn't think it would be that easy, but here we are. Let's cook some meat. Let's make some penicillin. Because we're definitely going to need some penicillin. <laughs> Krugnar. That's a deep cut. And... Let's make some boar hide gloves. Very tempted to make a sumac gas bomb. I definitely need to sleep. In game. Okay, we good now. can do six hours of sleep and then I can eat the meat that I had from the boar. And everything will be fine. Probably. Maybe. Yes. This works. Um, I don't know, Gloomy Horse, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Ooh, I found some aloe. 
the, the second time I played this, I went all the way to the end of the game on normal mode. So, I learned a lot from there. After that, I'll bet I can kind of figure out how to do things a little better. Or maybe not. I don't know. First things first, gotta hit up that there raft place. This is the one. Kind of need to um, fix my raft. My raft has been better. Great. Ten points. Yeah, that's 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 slow. Well, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. I'm just going to have to be really, really on point about dodging rocks in the middle of the stream, right? Yes, no more crushing ever. Piece of cake. God damn it. Fuck. Just like the other day. Use the jar, get free water, drink the water. Use the water, use the jar again, get more free water. Oh shit, it's a fucking bear. Run away. Run away. I'm terrified beyond rational thought. Get my ass out of here. Go for a nice sleep. Unbelievable. I award you with 700 bastard points for that. You earned them. Ooh. You know what I need to make? A stone hammer. There we go. I knew I was forgetting something. And the thing I was forgetting was a stone hammer. Captain Stone Hammer.
And this is poison ivy. Do not walk in the poison ivy. Just saying, it would really suck. Yeah, barking at a bear. Hit, 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 Yeah, fuck you, bear. Yeah. What you got? You ain't got shit. Fuck you, bear. You just stay there in your fucking bear place. Hibernating in the winter and shit. Looking all fuzzy. Yeah. What you got? Nothing. You ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. This will eventually get me killed. I am certain of that, but you got to admit that it, it was kind of badass while it lasted. Alright, let's see, I can eat some garlic. Well, obviously one would like to go to the raft. Saplings, we got them. Move that to the doggo this to the raft, move this to the raft, I am definitely going to need some food, yes my raft has seen better days, you are not wrong. just have to be really, really careful as I'm running down the river. Fortunately, there are some things that I can try to find in order to... Whew, I've earned a campfire. Alright. Cook tin meat. Yeah. Cook tin meat for one dandelion tea. Great. Uh, collect tin yucca. Craft a torch. And if I craft a torch, I'll get one cooked meat. See, that seems a little bit more reasonable. But I'll need some alcohol to craft a torch. What have we here? The quilt of Hooper Harms. Not for me, Hooper Harms told each passerby, right proudly. Ain't some leftover to be put in the fridge? Any concern about Hooper's intentions didn't let it show. Town folk had heard him spout his notions on random topics just about each moments of every day. From the look on the pilgrims' faces, the quiet of space seemed like a blessing. Mm. There, but for the grace of God, go I. Ooh, salt. Salt is good. You can make jerky with salt. Let's see what we got now. First of all, get charcoal. 
because you can always use that at the end of the day. Cooked yucca. Yes. Please do. I'll be eating that right now. Right proper cook yucca. Thank you. we got? First of all, eat these. Put the charcoal on the raft. Put the devil's trumpet on the raft. Put the salt on the raft. Maybe a liner. We're doing great. We're getting lots of items. That's what you like to see. still doing good. Of this I am convinced. We are having a decent run. Um, to answer your question, DZ, yes, but only if we make it to a marina. So... Our priority is to get to a to a marina. We just gotta be really careful. Of course. Of oh, fucking course. Well. Cause of death. Fucking drowned. <laughs> Pretty good overall. It weren't too bad. that they don't just go a store go ashore is because wolves and boars and bears and also because it would be a really short game if they could just go ashore you know logical reasons like that anyway um that was a pretty good run i enjoyed doing it i enjoyed playing it and I enjoy that you guys went along with me with the ride. So, hey, win-win, right? Indeed. <laughs> ah. 
I hear you there, man. Okay, so I will see you guys on the next thing when... Yes, thank you, and have a good night as well. Am I going to try to sleep? Probably not. I am likely to just stay up and try to watch someone else play some video games because that's the world I'm living in right now. You know how it is. Take it easy, y'all. Thank you and good night.